Good day! Welcome to another Atari 8-bit gameplay video. I've got queued up for you here a game called Tempest Extreme. Now this is a demoware version which is uh, entirely reasonable as this is a commercial game um, published in 2008 by the Atlantis Games Group, original Tempest copyright 1980. So this this version was created by Sal Esquivel and Peter Meyer. Start to begin Super Zapper up. To order this game, contact Video61. Uh, I have no sense if Video61 is still an ongoing business, but um, if they are, check them out at uh, www.atarisales.com and uh, let's have a look at the game. Alright, looks like, oh, looks like Tempest. <laughs> nice. Oh, a little web drawing glitch there. Um, okay, I'm failing. This is uh, Tempest 2000, basically, or at least it's trying to be. Tempest 2000 by uh, Jeff Minter for the Atari Jaguar. Super Zapper Recharge. Oh, the speech is cool. The, uh, there, I actually grabbed a power-up thing. There are a lot of power-ups in the original game. Nice sound effect. Nice yell effect when your uh, when your claw gets grabbed. Particle laser. So that means a more powerful shot. Uh, one of the things you have to be very careful of is not to get impaled. Oh, I was trying to hit my super zapper there. I missed out. Level two sh ships two remaining. Okay, super zapper works. I might have. Missing my power ups. The music is actually similar to the, uh, the music from Tempest 2000 in an 8 bit sort of a way. Already blew my super zapper, so that wasn't an option for me. There we go, particle laser points. Missed that power up. The power ups are these things that come sort of cylindrical looking things that come shooting up the web towards you. Or, uh, whoop, I just missed one there. Particle laser, that's good. Gosh, shot you. Game over. Alright, well that's okay. I have questions about making and selling what is presumably an unlicensed version, but uh, I guess that's not really for me to concern myself with too deeply. Tempest Extreme. Is it extreme? I guess it's extreme compared to any other 8-bit Tempest, probably. Now, I, I actually went looking just now to see if there was a Tempest game for the 8-bits. I do have a sort of a vague memory of a Tempest game, but that's about all I can say about it. I don't remember much more about it than I thought there was one, but there doesn't seem to be, so there is a there was a little bit of um, suggestion that Atari had a, pro a prototype in the works, but it uh, didn't sound like it was ever completed. <laughs> some good some good samples there. Those are I'm gonna say from the Jag version. Control's not bad. It's not uh, super precise, but it's not bad. Oh, what is that? It's a little electrical thingamadoober. I don't remember that being a thing so early in the game. I'm gonna have to check out the state of Jaguar uh, emulation. I should have super zappered there. Because uh, that was a game that was actually, I have a Jaguar sitting somewhere in my house. Not currently hooked up to anything. I believe I own Tempest 2000 for it, as long, along with a couple of other games. I don't have tons of games. Thank you for playing. If you want to enjoy the full version with 64 levels, 7 music soundtracks, high quality digital wave sound effects, you may purchase the cartridge. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. 
Yeah, I guess I wasn't really considering that this was maybe just a special couple of two or three levels um, specifically put together for the demo, which is likely. Not bad, not bad at all. We did see at least one bug, but um, it cropped up again. There's a way to there's a way in the original Tempest, I think, as well as Tempest 2000 to sort of lean with your claw a little bit and you could then shoot the, have a pretty good chance of shooting the baddies that make it to the edge of the web. My goodness, I am not doing very well, am I? No sir, I am not. Laser. So the color of the power-up doesn't actually seem to mean anything. For the 8-bit, that's an amazing example. Particle laser, and I suppose I should have super zeppered. Super zeppered. So those, once those guys get to the edge of the web, it's well, they come up pretty fast. They do come up fast. Game over. Well, I think as far as the demo goes, I've explored everything there is to explore with this. So. Not a bad little game. Um, if you're so inclined, I would recommend supporting, uh, uh, sorry, Video61, atarisales.com. Check it out, and maybe I'll go take a look and see if they're still selling things. Um, that was 12 years ago, so I'm not really sure what the current state of affairs is. In any case, thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.